Hi and welcome to our small table. Today we're making apple meatloaf. Here's our finished dish. Let's see how we got here. We're going to have to start moving fairly quickly because the apple starts to oxygenize very fast. You can see it's already starting to turn brown because I had to prep it before I started the camera. So we have apple and add the breadcrumbs. These are as I like to use breadcrumbs that I made from bread that I made and the egg. Now if you are watching this right when I've put it up, it's Thanksgiving week, so maybe have an extra mouth in the house that needs to be fed. You want to have something that serves more than two people, but you don't want to start having turkey right now because holiday season, a lot of turkey. So this is just an easy meatloaf recipe with beef. It's ketchup and here's the Dijon mustard that serves three people instead of our usual two. I have to mention here that while I don't actually like the taste of Dijon by itself, I found it a really good ingredient to cook with. It really brings out the flavor of other things quite well. And our spices, allspice, salt, and pepper. I sauteed the onion ahead of time. I'm using less onion than the recipe calls for because I can't actually eat onion, which means I'm going to have to pick this out of my portion when it comes time to eat. It's just easier if there's less in there to start out with, but the flavor is important to the recipe. And I'm going to crumble in the beef. And as you can see, I don't have my rings on because for meatloaf, it's really best if you just get your hands in there and mix it up together with your hands. If you're somebody who does not like the feel of these ingredients between your fingers, that's fine. It's very common. You can use a spoon, a couple of spoons, whatever works best for you. I just think that I get a better mix if I combine it like this. So I'm going to get this finished up so it's all mixed together. Wash my hands and then we shall return for the shaping. Another option for those who don't want to put their hands directly onto the raw meat is gloves. And that's why I'm using them, is just to show them as an option. All you need is food safe, powder free gloves. You can get a big box of them inexpensively if you have a restaurant supply store nearby. You can order them on the internet. And we're just forming this into a loaf. Our oven has been preheating and it is just clicked over that it's preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This is going to go into that oven for 40 to 45 minutes until there's no pink in the center and a meat thermometer reads about 160. So when that has been done, we'll see how it looks. And there we have it. Thanks for joining me at our small table. The recipe I've used today is linked in the video description and is available at OurSmallTable.com. Next time we're making a family recipe, enchiladas, so click subscribe so you don't miss out. 